Hello, my name is um, Joseph Ocheme, the content creator of Wireless Hub. I'm here to show you a clean demonstration for you to see step by step. Some people have been demanding for these videos that um, it should be plain, that is a lie, it's not possible to work. So right here, right here is my, is the setup. So I made this so transparent, so this is everything that has been here that makes it work. As you can see, no wire connected from under. So here will be the powering source so here's our electric motor right here here's our inverter here's our battery here's our multimeter so and um, this is the voltage of the battery right here sorry the voltage of the battery is a uh, is a uh, 15.55 we are charging this battery for free this is the whole circuit the whole setup for the electric motor you can see so this is the input this is the and here is the output here is the output so and here is a drill which i'm going to use for the test here's my multimeter which i'm going to place in the battery so let us go for the setup so let me put the camera right here while i connect the thing there's no wire underneath there's no wire underneath anywhere there's no wire underneath as you can see here is a clean ground no wire under it so let me put the camera here while i go there to plug it to the power source i'm going to do a manual startup of this electric motor so this video is not going to break the video is not going to break so here is the uh, setup here is the power from the that I'm going to get from this inverter. So here is the inverter, positive to the negative. You can see. So I'm plugging the from here, from this box right here, I'm plugging it to the inputs. So. I'm going to give a manual startup to this. A manual startup to this um, motor. I'm going to shift this a little bit so you can see. I have to start it again. So, as you can see, it has been started. You can see the motor is rolling. So here is the motor now spinning. So here is our inverter which we use in powering the electric motor. So let me shift it a little bit. So this battery is charging. Before this, I showed you the, the state of the battery. So let's check the battery level. This is our battery we are charging for free. So this electric motor is now turned to a transformer with this setup charging this battery for free so let's check the uh, battery voltage because right now it's charging 15.90 I've actually tried to discharge this battery several times because I've been running the test for long as you can see the voltage keeps increasing 93 so this is not uh, part of the this thing so this one is just charging the battery for free so these are our clamp meter right there just like how you can see the whole setup 
this is our clamp meter so we're going to turn our clamp meter to read it from the battery amps so put our clamp meter right here so let's check how much this whole setup is working how many amps it is consuming powering the electric motor and charging this battery for free before we plug our um, drill so let's check it so as you can see it is consuming 3.8 3.8 amps let me on the flashlight of this uh, camera so it is consuming 3.8 from this inverter and uh, it's powering all this setup so that is a drill now this is my extension right here this is this extension so at this uh, my circuit level there is two outputs there is the ac output and the dc output so we are going to plug this right here this right here we are going to plug it to the to the dc side of it so once you plug it to the we we'll plug it to the dc side sorry sorry let's plug it to the ac side and see if a light comes on okay light doesn't come on so plug it to the dc side to the dc side so let's check the voltage if this uh the voltage actually comes on from here so this is the voltage from the DC that is coming out 169 you can see from the DC 100 you, you will see 169 so once I swap it over you see a sign minus sign to show you that it is actually AC and DC no minus sign 169 so here is our amperage put your eye on the amperage from this battery so let's power this drill right here so we are going to plug it this drill right here um, is um, as you can see is rated for 710 watts so I'm going to plug the drill here it is a universal motor that is inside this drill so I can use it with both AC and DC look at the whole system I can use it with old AC and DC so I can plug it over here and you can see I will power it up so now what I'm going to do now I'm going to load test this drill so you can see the maximum it can handle so i'm going to apply a force and i'm going to use it to drill a um, that stuff right there so you can see the amount it is consuming you understand so as you can see i'm going to drill a hole right here i'm going to drill a hole right here and while i'm drilling the hole i will show you how many amps it is being consumed from here so let's go I'm fine. So you can see the arms, and this is what I drew. This was the first drill. This was the second one, but this is the first one I did now. This one is the previous one I did. So this was the one. So I will do a load test right here. I will show you the arms and I will load it from here. I will use my hand to stop it. So let me power the drill. Thank you. I'm powering it. As you can see it's using only 12 amps 13 amps i'm holding this thing very tight it's losing out of my hand 
is losing out of my heart. So let me off it. So, as you can see, let me unplug it from here. So right here, I wanted to do an uninterrupted video for you. So that is why I'm doing all this. So from this small inverter, I'm powering this electric motor, turning this electric motor to my transformer with just only a few watts of power. So let's do a calculation. This battery, let's check the, uh, let's check the voltage of this uh, battery right here. The voltage is 15.16 15.16 six. 15.16 so that is our voltage so if we are to times now we are going to times you will see when when i put this thing on load it was consuming um 13 amps of battery so let's check the dc amps that is from this wire right here let them sorry let's check the ac amp and see how many ac amp it is consuming from this sorry so this is the ac amp it is consuming 0 0.5 0 0.4 0 0.5 let me shift the wire up a little bit because sometimes the clamp meter can go a wire so let me shoot a little bit so you can see consuming 0 0.4 now for you to know actual power and appliances is using you must be able to use it from a battery to show you the actual current it is actually sucking out from this battery and as you can see 3.7 so let's do a mass calculation let's do the normal physics calculation the normal physics calculation so we are going to use our calculator and we are going to get the actual voltage all this setup are using so the actual setup so we are going to as you can see um is the arms so let's do an actual setup of the calculation so we are using um 3.8 so we use 3.8 times the voltage of the normal battery 12 volts so we are we are using 45 watts to power all the system right here 45 watts 45 watts so 45 watts to power all the systems so when we do a calculation also on this drill that we powered right here that we put on full load because consuming 13 amps so let's calculate 13 times um 13 times 12 volts which is 156 let us say 160 watts so both with powering our load powering all these things we are consuming 160 watts because this inverter ordinarily cannot power all this cannot even power a small electric motor of one horsepower because the one horsepower is equal to 745 watts and right here we are powering that same drill motor though with a 160 something volt right from here which i have showed you earlier on the dc voltage because there are two outputs right here the ac out the dc output and the ac output from this setup so here is the control control panel that does all the magic and all the work so let me show you the dc voltage again so you can see 165 so this is the whole setup there is nothing hidden there is no power connection from anywhere just getting its power from the battery just like i showed you from the battery it's coming down right here to the box and this is the box there is nothing hidden on the box under the box nothing is hidden nothing is hidden under the box so that is how it works this is just a clean demonstration to show you and nothing is hidden anywhere this is a genuine power and this is resonance uh, systems so with these few systems right here the electric motor this uh, control panel here 
we are we are also charging the battery for free now let's let's take a good a, a um a view on this battery what it is consuming what uh what you are gaining we check the voltage all the time so let's check how much voltage it has gained from that moment we started our test till now sorry let's put a clamp me down let's put it at 200 So you see the voltage that is that 16.1.2 let me put it to 20 so you can see the actual voltage we are also charging the battery for free so 16.220 so that is how everything functions 16.19 16 points yeah so that is how everything functions and this battery is maintained full charge you can also use the power from there also charge your phones charge anything you want to charge so which just approximately for to even go higher they just say we are going higher 200 watts 200 watts we are just giving plus or minus which is even high because what you calculated there was around 160 watts so let's just say with 200 watts, you are powering all these systems. The electric motor, you are charging the battery for free, this small battery for free, and you are also powering a drill for free. So this drill, to me, it doesn't have any back EMF. You can use it to spin anything. So this drill can be replaced with a DC motor, anything, or a universal motor. There is also a universal motor right there. But that universal motor is 100 and... Um, 100 and something watts so i would not want to use that because the watt is lower this one the watt is more higher than this so that is how this whole system there is no wire hidden anywhere there's no any hidden connection from anywhere this is the setup no hidden connections anywhere so thank you and god bless you make sure to subscribe to this video make sure you do subscribe to this video press the bell notification button and always share this video to your family to your loved ones make sure please to share this video so people can see it share it on your contact share it everywhere so people can see the genuine power of this particular device this device can be scaled up this is just the basic design so there have been so many investors investing on this and making sure this thing come to pass and thank god finally it has come to pass so we need partnership um, if you want to apply for the online training I'm good and set up and please let nobody send you any message saying it is me if you are calling me please make sure to do a video call with me anybody telling you to send any money to, to him make sure you do a video call and you see this face right here that you are seeing so beware of scammers using my uh, picture or using my uh, um, YouTube videos so please don't fall for it thank you so much please do subscribe to this video share this video like this video so people can see it thank you so much for your love and patronage thank you